that's too much information? Okay. Uh, so I'm Marianne Alda, and I used to be black. <laughs> but in the New World Order, I have been reclassified as mixed race, ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> Is that supposed to be an upgrade? Because either way, I still get profiled as a shoplifter at Macy's. <laughs> but now I also get profiled as a terrorist at airports. <laughs> Especially since I stopped straightening my hair. Because evidently, this hair with this hue, along with my fascist Italian designer shoes and my knockoff product carry on, are a dead giveaway that I am a radical extremist. <laughs> Puga <-puga>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, just for the record, I am not Dominican, Puerto Rican, Samoan, uh, Jamaican, Egyptian, or Aboriginal Australian. Not that there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I've played a couple of them on TV. Usually an anguished mom whose son has just been killed by a Mexican gang or a Colombian drug cartel. <laughs> My husband, he goes to his spot. They kill my son. I won't let them kill my husband. <laughs> that worked for me on the blacklist and paid my rent for three months. <laughs> but in actuality, my ethnicity is Afro Saxon. A uniquely colonial American permutation that allows me to trace the history of my hybridization back to the birth of the nation. But now, because of my ancestral voulez vous coucher avec moi, <laughs> English translation, get your ass on up to the big house, kids, because Massa got a heart on in this <laughs> security, and a candidate for deportation. Booga booga. Okay, true story. I was at an airport in North Carolina. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to North Carolina, but it is a weird state. It's in the South, so historically it's a red state. But all these Yankees have moved down there, so now politically it's become more of a blue state. But they have a Republican governor. So ideologically, it's kind of fuchsia. <laughs> Although, I'm pretty sure I'm still black in most of North Carolina. <laughs> but in the New World Order, at least they let me use the public restroom facilities. As long as I don't have a dick. <laughs> but even if I did, with all of this going on, I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I go to the airport, and I go through security, and all of a sudden I hear somebody yell out, hey you, get out of line, and come over here. And I think, ooh, they got one. And I'm like, around. <laughs> and then I notice that everybody else is looking at me. So I get out of line, they wand me and they feel me up. And then this little TSA chick who looks like her parents were at least first cousins starts to rummage through my hair like a pig foraging for truffles. What did she think? That I had a detonator up in there? That I was gonna go and blow up the damn plane? <laughs> Not with me on it! <laughs> And suicide is a straight to hell mortal sin. And even if I haven't been to church in a while, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Secondly, I am a heterosexual female. So the jihadi promise of 42 virgins waiting to service me in the afterlife, there's nothing in that for me. <laughs> now, if they could promise me LL Cool J. <laughs> in the back seat of a fire with a brimstone limo, <laughs> feeding me grapes while he was folding my 